What's going on guys? John Elder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're going to build this window resizing control panel with Kinter and Python. All right, guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to build this window resizing control panel thing with Kinter and Python. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so like I said, in this video, we're going to build this fun little control panel app where we've got some sliders and we can kind of change the size of this other second window or we could lock it in with one and do all this fun stuff. Now, I'm not really sure exactly what you would use this for, but it's kind of interesting and it's a fun way to resize different windows. And it could show you a method of resizing windows. And we're using a slider here. You could also enter entry boxes and you could type in, you know, width of 400 or something and then it would resize here. Uh, but I think slider is a little bit more fun. So that's what we're gonna look at. It is New Year's Eve here in Vegas. Hope you guys have a great New Year's celebration tonight. Everybody that's celebrating, be safe. Uh, be, uh, you know, socially distanced and all the good stuff. But I uh, hope you have a great time. It's Vegas. We always have fun here in Vegas on New Year's. I'm not sure what we're doing this this year with all the COVID stuff, but uh, it should be fun anyway. So, all right, let's get into this. We've got a file called controls.py. It's our basic hinter starter code that we always have. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash terminal as always. So the first thing I'm going to do is we need to import TTK because TTK has the slider thing that we like. Now, Kinder has its own slider, but it's kind of clunky and it doesn't work that great. I mean, it works okay. It just doesn't look as nice as the TTK scale. So that's what we're going to do. So let's go from T Kinter, import TTK. And we've done this a zillion times. So now I'm going to create a button and uh, let's create a launch button to launch our new window because we want to have our control panel and then we want to launch a second window. So I'm just going to call this launch underscore button. And this is going to be a button. We want to put it in root. We want the text to equal launch window. And let's give this a command of launch. We'll create this launch function in just a second. So now we want to launch underscore button dot pack. And let's give this a pad Y of 20 to push it down the screen a little bit. So, okay. So let's now create launch function. So let's define launch and let's create a second window. I'm just going to call it second. And this is going to be a top level window. We've done this lots of times and I want this to be accessed from outside of this function. So I'm just going to call this global, make it, make it a global variable. And we want to set the size of this thing. So let's go second dot geometry, just like we've done up here, right? And we can set this to anything we want. I'm just going to set it for now to 100 by 100. So let's go ahead and save this and run it just to make sure that worked. So let's go Python controls.py. And we get this button. We click it. And this pops up on my other screen. You can't really. There we go. Let me pull this over. And it's tiny 100 by 100. Maybe we'll make that a little bit bigger. It's kind of hard to grab onto. But okay, seems to have worked. And we're good to go there. So in fact, let's make this, I don't know, 200 by 200 just to start out. Okay, so now let's create some label frames. We could just put a slider up on the screen, but I want to put it in a little box and I want that box to have a, a title on it. So a little label on top. So we'll use label frames and I'm going to call this one with underscore frame. And this is going to be a label frame. The L and the F are both capitalized. And we're going to put this in root and we want the text to equal, let's say width. Now let's go with underscore frame dot pack and give this a pad Y of like 20 to push it down the screen. And let's go ahead and create two more of these. And we'll call this one height frame. So height frame and height frame. And we'll call this one both frame. So we want a frame for the width, we want a frame for the height, and then we want a frame for a slider that will handle both width and height. So just playing around that, that'll be fun. Okay, so that looks good. Now let's create some sliders. And let's start a start out with a width underscore slider. And this is going to be a TTK dot scale widget. 
That's what the slider is called, a scale widget in TTK land, right? And we want to put this in with underscore frame, which is this guy right here, right? Now with sliders, you start out by designating the from, and notice that little underscore here because from is a Python keyword. And so we can't use from, we have to use from underscore. And now what do we want this to start on? I want this to start on like a hundred because if we started at zero, the width would be zero and that's no good. Even at one pixel, that's not big enough. We really need a good hundred or so to start out. Otherwise it gets a little silly. So we want from 100 and let's set this equal to 500. We don't want to get crazy with this. I'm just going to keep it at 500. You can put this at 2000 if you wanted to. It'd be bigger than your monitor screen probably, but you know, you could do that. So from 100 to 500. And now let's set the orient, orientation, orient equals, and I want this to be horizontal. So I want this slider to go left to right. The height one will have go up and down, but the width one makes sense to go left to right. And if we want to, we can set a length of this thing. For good measure, I'll just put it at 200. So, okay, that looks good. So let's width underscore slider dot pack. Let's give this a pad Y of 20. Let's also give this a pad X of 20 also. So it has a little padding inside the little frame. So, okay, that looks good. We also need to give this a command. So I'm gonna call this width underscore slide, All right? So let's go ahead and make this function real quick. So let's head up here to our little function section and let's say change the width. So let's define width slide and for now let's pass. Now this is a slider, so it's always gonna pass something into the function, so we need to put something there. So I'll just put E or maybe X. So this will pass whatever the current sliding position is. We're not going to use that. We're just going to use our slider dot get method like we usually do. But the function still needs to have it because the slider is sending that. And so the function is going to be listening for it. So we need to account for that. We're just going to ignore this X, but it still needs to be there. So okay, that looks good. Now let's just copy this a couple more times. And let's call this one height slider. And let's call this one both slider, because I am very creative with my names. <laughs> and so this one we want to put in the height frame, which is this guy right here. And this one we want to put in the both frame, which is this one right here. And then let's see. And for this one, I want to give an orientation of vertical, because this is the height. So it makes sense to go up and down, we're going to be dragging it up and down because it's going to change the up and down height of our app, right, or of our window. So that just sort of makes sense. And here, let's give this a height slide. And down here, let's give this a both slide. So height and both. So we need to make those. So I'm just going to copy this a couple of times. And so this one is height slide. And we want to change the height. And this is the both slides. <laughs> we want to change the both. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this and run it to see if that at least looks right. Now these sliders won't actually do anything yet, but oh, we can see I misspelled length. Of course I did. It's New Year's Eve. What do you expect, people? Come on. <laughs> All right, so let's come down here to our sliders and towards the end, L E N. Yes, sure enough. L E N G T H. There we go. Length. And notice this is a lowercase L. I know it kind of looks like a capital L, but you know how sublime text is. It always makes that look like a capital. It's always a lowercase though. Just for giggles, this is a capital L, right? Right. That looks completely different. So just keep that in mind. Okay. So let's go ahead and save this and run it. Try this one more time. Okay. So we have this thing. We can launch it. When we do, that pops up. And we've got the width that goes this way. We've got, oh, these all say width on them. So let's change that. But at least we can see it works, sort of. <laughs> it doesn't do anything yet, but uh, it's looking good. So let's change these widths to height and both real quick here. So let's come over to our frames. And this one will be height. And this one will be both, which corresponds with height and both. Okay. Go ahead and save this. Uh, I'm just going to run it again really quickly just to make sure. Okay, width, height, and both. Okay, so 
Now all we have to do is build out these functions. And this is actually pretty easy. So we've got this, we called this second window and we set it global. So we can reference this second in this function. So let's call second dot geometry. And just like right here, we can set this to anything we want. Now, instead of using quotation marks like this, I'm gonna use an F string. So then we can pass in something by something, right? So what do we wanna pass in here? Well, this is the width slider. It's coming from our width slider right here. So we can dot get that. So that would be width slider dot get, and that will return whatever the slider currently is, but it will return a big long floating decimal number. So 100.69464386742, right? And that's no good. We actually need to convert this whole thing into an integer. So that would be that. So let me just comment this out and we could just paste this in here and that should be good. We can also get, let me paste this again, the height slider, right? And you'll notice we set these, let me come down here and look at this. Did we set? Oh, you know what? We did not set it to be at a certain level by default. We've got the from and the to, but we didn't set a value. So we might wanna do that. So let's come to the end of this and set this value to 100 for each of these. So do it for width, also do it for height, and let's also do it for our both, right? So by default, these will be 100 if we haven't moved them at all, right? So, okay, that's good. So here, let's copy this also and put it in there. So we've got the width slider dot get for the width and the height slider dot get for the height. And this should be good, except I'm seeing here, we need one more of these. Okay, so, all right, that looks good. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this and run it. See if that worked. So we've got our control panel, we can launch our window, we can pull this over. And now when we change the height, it goes back and forth. You notice the whole thing shrank down to 100 because that height is what this is right here, 100. If we change this to 500, and then we move this, that would change as well, right? So that's kind of interesting. Okay, so we're basically done now. We just need to do the same exact thing for the height one and the both one, and we're good to go. So let's do that real quick. Let's, I'm just gonna copy this whole thing right here and add it to our height slider. Okay, so let's go ahead and save that and run it to make sure that worked. So pull this over, launch our window. We can still move this around. We can also now move this around. We can make this all the way bigger. Hey, look at that. This is just very satisfying to do this. I don't know why, it's just like whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> Maybe it's a New Year's Eve thing. Oh, haven't started drinking yet. <laughs> okay, so now finally we just need to do this both one. And this is super simple. We can just grab this guy again and paste this in, except for now, this is gonna be both slider, not the width slider. So this one will be both, and this one will be both as well, right? So the both the height and the width are gonna be whatever this both slider is down here. That's the point of this slider. We move one slider and it moves both the height and the width to whatever that slider is. So, okay, let's go ahead and save this, give it a run. Pull this over, launch our window, pull that over. All right, so now we can zoop. And it's sort of got a locked in aspect ratio. And that's kind of cool. And we can also change this around and change this around. Zoop, zoop. Or we can do both at the same time. And that's just that easy. So nothing spectacularly difficult here, but a fun little app and uh, gives us something to do on New Year's Eve. <laughs> and uh, kind of useful, right? Because there's times when you may want to manually control the size of a separate window that you're creating. I'm not sure why that would be, but you know, this is one really easy way to do it. Like I said, you could also use entry boxes. Here we're passing a slider position. So like this right here is 500. We could just as easily create an entry box and type 500 into it and then click a button. 
that it would then resize it. Or we could bind it to where as soon as we type in, it changes or whatever you like to do. But uh, you get the idea. And hopefully this gives you some ideas. All right. So that is, I just realized the last video of 2020. This is the last video of 2020, people. Oh, man, I didn't even think of that. So, wow, this is really the video we want to go out on for 2020. You should put more thought into this, right? <laughs> all right. I hope you guys have a great New Year's Eve. Be safe tonight. Have fun, be responsible, do all the social distancing things, and we'll see you in 2021. So that's all for this video. If you like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codingme.com where you can use coupon code UG1 to get $30 off memberships and pages, $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codingme.com, and I'll see you in the next video.